Hello hopefuls and today is a just a small haul. I really wasn't going to haul this but I thought I would share. I'm going to add this probably to another grocery haul. This is from Walmart and it's just a couple of items that I needed for dinner and that I wanted to have for the week and I still have to go back because I didn't get bread. They probably didn't even have bread because today's Sunday. And Sunday's not a good day to go to the grocery store. But they may have had bread today. So really quickly, we're having whole potatoes. I've got three cans of these. I usually season them up. I didn't want mac and cheese because usually JJ doesn't care for that. I don't eat much of it. J Jason doesn't either and just I barely eats. Um, so I got this. And I didn't have time for the real potatoes because I'm trying to whip dinner together right quick. Some kiwi strawberry sparkling ice, some black raspberry ice, some classic lemonade. Picked these up the other day in Harris Teeter, and I just wanted something different. These are not great in sodium, but yeah, I have to calculate how many Weight Watcher points. The they didn't have like I didn't necessarily want the tube of ground beef today, but this is all they had at. Work. So that's what I picked up. I also wanted some fruit for me i can eat the whole fruit or whatever but um the boys can take this with them as a snack after school or to lunch i asked i he kind of hesitated but yeah mainly they eat it at home so yeah i don't even know why i said that so pineapple tidbits i did add these points up they were like three points and then the mixed fruit because this is with no sugar added with Splenda was zero points so i end up getting two of these because i like pears actually but um hopefully they won't eat it all because i really bought it for myself the reduced fat i hope jason doesn't get to this as well I saw this in another YouTuber's haul, and I said, let me try this with that. I can't think of the name of the cheese from Aldi. The It's not just Aldi, but it's the name brand, the national brand that has the, it's in the circle packaging, but it has like the little triangles. I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, with this crackers or either with sliced cheese i have to just see which one is better but probably that spreadable cheese this was like two points for five crackers which i thought was awesome okay then i am loving 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 these simply cheeto puffs you get 10 in a bag it don't seem like you get a whole lot but you get quite much well, quite much for four dollars and something. I thought it was six dollars and six ninety eight, but it's four dollars and some change. Um, Simply Cheeto Puffs, and this is these are the bomb. These are only four points for these. I don't know how many points these are, but I really got these for Saya, so I need to add these up. I bet they like five points. I needed some meatloaf seasoning, so I got two packets for the meatloaf, and then I thought Jiffy Cornbread would be good for them to fill them up. And I got some bacon. So some bacon for my breakfast is in the morning. But mainly I'm having, um, lately I've been having just a smoothie. Yeah. So guys, that's all I picked up from Walmart. It seemed like I picked up more than this. Um, today is Sunday. I didn't do much today. What did you guys do on Sunday today? I think today is the 29th. Yeah. We had company, so it threw me off. We didn't go to church. Um, so I watched T.D. Jakes online and what else? Oh, I went to Mama's house and did her tablescape and I have to finish that up because I forgot some stuff and record her fall home tour. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And what did you guys do this weekend? Or what do you have planned next weekend? We have a wedding to go to. So don't forget to <laughs> comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Hi guys, so another little small haul from Walmart today. I had to go in there and do something. I don't remember why I had to go in there. But, oh, I forgot to take JJ's keys back. But let me share with you what I picked up. No big hoopla. Um, I did go in there and I looked at the new Christmas stuff. And it was really pretty. And if the pictures are clear, I'll make sure I insert that at the end of the video. Okay. So, I got some items for Josiah's lunch. Um, I wanted to get something different. He has been getting the school lunch every now and then. So, I got the cinnamon graham crackers. 
they were 88 cent they needed some more peanut butter and then i got the eight thing of rolls of toilet paper i like this brand and then i saw these at dollar general the other day i was going in there looking to see if they had their new christmas items and out and they were starting to roll them out but um these are a dollar fifty at dollar general but at walmart they were 157 i was like oh gosh but um the coconut these are really good i did get the peanut butter delight but i didn't like them they were kind of real dry they weren't gooey and stuff like that i can't remember how many points i'll look it up and link it below but i really like these so i picked up two of these i need to see if they have a bigger bag somewhere else maybe on amazon or something so i don't know just so it'd be cheaper you don't get a whole lot in here you may get let's see three servings per container two pieces of serving size so you might get more in here than you do at um dollar general yeah you don't get but like six in here y'all it's not a lot but you don't need that many anyway um the goldfish cheddar i haven't picked these up in a while for sale put them in a ziploc baggie we were out of bread so need that for lunch today's a teacher work day and then i got another salad kit the bacon caesar that's probably what i plan on eating this today for lunch jason mentioned it and i was like he's working day shift and i was like you better not take that whole bag of salad to lunch and then i already planned out what i'm having for today so i picked up another one for him the other ones they look really um like they were about to turn this one is too a little bit but they were wilted so i was going to get two bags but i only got one and something else i was going to say about that i don't remember now y'all i got some peanut butter crackers because i didn't go on Aldi to get his mini peanut butter crackers these are like 98 cents or 88 cents or something like that and then the sparkling peach nectarine this is my favorite they didn't have it at the Walmart that's in my town, but it's another Walmart that's like really close anyway. It's almost in my town too. And glad I found that because I haven't been able to find it. Um, I got some Tropical Punch for his lunch. These are a dollar, the Kool-Aid Jammers. And I got a card. So I got a card for a dear friend. She is a high school, I think we went to school ever since elementary school. And actually today is, I believe today or yesterday, um, marks eight years since I lost, or we lost Jasmine. It's a habit to say I, but it's we. Lost Jasmine. She was a stillborn. Um, our daughter that I had at, at 28 weeks. And I still don't know what happened. And yeah, anyway, uh, she was really supportive. Christy was and she just had a miscarriage um, she has three other children and she just had a, a little girl not too long ago I think she's maybe one but anyway I got her this really pretty card she was so supportive probably the only person that reached out to me on my Facebook page or classmates or anything like that but um yeah and I think this month is stillborn miscarriage awareness on the 9th or the 15th and i just i just looked that up but um yeah but that was something really i really wanted to reach out to her and do that for her because um a lot of people just brush it under the rug and uh, miscarriage is something emotional and a stillborn is just really traumatic and i had anxiety and some things but thank god he he comforted me and brought me back in and i just i'm just grateful because that was probably the most it was the most traumatic thing that i have experienced and no one could really help me but my but god not even my husband or my mom so um but yeah so i'm really i love to support people um, you support everybody, but you know, when people reach out and they didn't have to, I just, I have to give back. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and have a great and blessed week, guys. Bye-bye.